What's up guys, in today's episode I'm gonna show you guys how to make AN lines. Make the strings louder. So right here we have basically the beginnings of what AN line is gonna become and I have actually a good example. So if you see the two ends, I have one end which is frayed, and then the other end which is clean. You want anytime you're starting an AN line or before you even put the fitting on it, you want your ends to look clean. Now, the way to get the ends when you cut the line to look clean like this, you're gonna need, a, well, you can use one of a couple tools. My personal favorite is an actual cable cutter that you can get from like Jag Summit. Uh, I'll leave a link down below on where you can find this. Another tool you can use is a cutoff wheel or like a hacksaw. Those are a little hard, um, not harder to use. But they, they can kind of get jammed up if they're not cutting flush. And when you do do that, you always need to wrap your AN line in some kind of like tape, electrical tape. So when you do cut it, it'll make a clean cut. Cause if you don't wrap it up and you cut it, you could still run the chance of fraying the line. So I'm gonna give you guys an example on how to use these cable cutters and how they're, you know, how they'll work. So here's our frayed line. Uh, I'm not gonna throw any tape on it just because I am using the cable cutters. Those usually, don't give you a bigger chance of leaving frayed and I've just always done it like that so I'm just I'm not gonna use tape but uh, if you feel more comfortable put some tape on the ends all we're gonna do is just put this end in I already have this line cut to a certain length so uh, that's why I'm not taking much off I'm just gonna show you guys how to clean the end up so what we're gonna do is put it in to where we need it make sure it's gonna be straight and then just cut it. And there's what it leaves it like. It's a little frayed, but uh, that's not bad. You can work with that. So next thing you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna wanna uh, get this ready in the vise. So here we have our hose in our vise. You're gonna wanna use some sort of uh, vise jaws. That's what they're called. For uh, AN lines or AN fittings. So you're gonna wanna make sure it's secured. So this is secured in the jaw we have our actual fitting ready. And I'm gonna explain to you guys this little uh, tool from Cool Tools. Here's your part number. I'll leave a link in the description where to get this. This is uh, the smaller fittings. And uh, these basically make your life a whole lot easier. So we have a size four, a size six, this one's different, and a size eight. So we're using the six. Close this up. Here's your tool. I'm gonna uh, set the camera and I'll show you guys exactly how do we use this tool. So we're gonna get our AN fitting. We're going to take it apart first. So we're just going to unscrew the bottom half off. Okay, so all we need is this end right now. The part with the, uh, I guess the threads, put that to the side. I'm gonna grab our cool tool with the right size that we're using. It comes with little spacers. Put your uh, fitting in it, just like that. And you're gonna see there's a little space, so we wanna take that gap up. And the way we take that gap up is with the spacers they gave us. And so we're basically just gonna shim it out. Right uh, in the front, there's a little gap. So we'll just throw the shim in there. There's still a little gap. We're gonna put another one that they give us. And uh, now there's no more play. So we're going to close the tool up. Okay. Now, here's where this tool come in hand, comes in handy, and this is why you don't want any frayed ends on your uh, on your line. We're going to force this tool on, and we're just going to spin as we're forcing. And as we're forcing it, and you're spinning, you're going to feel it bottom out. Once it bottoms out, you're done, and you're going to open this up. So let's uh, let's see. So that kind of bottomed out on me. And when it bottoms out, you're gonna to wanna to look inside and see if that hose actually bottomed out inside the threads, which it did. And that's why they uh, 
that's why I like using this tool. It just makes it so much easier because if you were just doing this by hand, sometimes the hose end doesn't go in all the way. It just makes life easier. So I would recommend the cool tool if you're making uh, AN lines often. If you're not, I mean, you can get away without using it. Now we have our fitting on. Well, one half of it, we're gonna have to put the other half in it. We're gonna screw this end in. Now, what I'm gonna use is, uh, this comes in a pack from Jags. Again, I'll leave this in uh, the description. This is just some assembly oil. We're gonna put some oil on the threads so it uh, kind of screws in easier. Here's our threads, just a little. Even it out. And then you're gonna go in straight. Start it by hand, make sure everything's good. And then you're gonna feel it get tighter at one point, which it's starting. So now we're gonna get our AN wrenches. So here I have an adjustable AN wrench. We're gonna put it on. Onto our fitting, and we're just gonna screw it on. You're gonna wanna hold the, the hose as you're doing this to try to prevent it from moving. You might wanna put a wrench on the other end too, so that's what I'm gonna do. If you don't have the right size uh, AN wrench, another trick you can do is just get an adjustable and put some tape on the ends so you don't damage it. If you, know, if you don't wanna damage your fitting, I don't have another size to fit this one, so that's just what I'm gonna do right now. So as I'm sitting here doing this and I'm realizing I'm using uh, these jaws to hold my hose, the other use you can use for these jaws is actually putting the fitting in. So uh, yeah, how about we use these what they're meant for? There. So now if you don't have another fitting, you can just use the jaws and throw this right in. Just make sure you hold the hose when you're uh, using the jaws because the hose is going to want to spin. You're going to go all the way until you bottom out. Take your hose out. Make sure the uh, front part spins freely. As you can see, we have a tight connection. There's a couple scratches on it, but it's okay. This ain't coming out. And that's how you make a fitting. So that's it guys, that's, that's uh, how you make AN lines. They're pretty simple to make as long as you have the right tools. They do make the job a lot easier. If you don't, you can still get it done a little harder. So I recommend getting the right tools. Everything you saw in this video, I will leave a link in the description. I really like making AN lines just because uh, you can use them for anything as long as you have the right hose for your application. Uh, they're flexible, you know, they, you could uh, just get so many different fittings for fuel rails, Doing like oil coolers cool now people are using them for like the rat heater hoses for their coolant hoses so you know those are that's a pretty cool option too now it's just there's so many uses for these an lines that it's good to know how to make them so i hope you guys took something from this like if you did definitely thanks for watching everyone stay motivated keep making these streets louder and i'll catch you on the next one peace